you think you're doing? Outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the Raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet. Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. Of course, because I didn't... Let's just be safe. Get this, get this, this. He's got to put it in. So there's the power of 12. And of course, that's the... It's... I am Orson Shaw, chief behavioral scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. Indeed. Now that you fully grasp the gravity of the situation, I wonder if you might do me a favor. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. Certainly not, but Porter and his goons are busy with the outlaws and Anton's busy holding his head in his hands. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. No, uh, well, yes, well, uh, no, uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through Raptodon hides. Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Sure. On my way.
Looks like a great spot for an ambush. Processing. Okay. Data. On it. Watch out! Stealing if no one sees. Someone knows how to make an entrance. I'll get him.
Nice. Searching for a Coming your way. Clever. How the hell did you get in here? No, not... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the Precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. Oh, wonderful! That's much better. I'm getting out of here so I can personally thank him for his compassion.
You take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. All this fresh air is making my nose itch. You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? Well, you ain't trying to eat me. Most things hereabouts are. And anyways, I'm bored. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all. I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. I got a radio, yeah. If I see any corporate ships incoming, I shout her a warning. Before you ask, no, you can't use it. I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Oh, well, figured it couldn't hurt to ask. I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew got that going for me. Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well, ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. I look busy to you. It's surrounded by pissed off raptodons. My mama didn't raise no dumb asses. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. Wouldn't hurt to do her a nice turn, would it, Captain? An outdoor raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Law well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying.
walk in? I mean, it says secret right on it. The real covert labs don't gotta advertise it. <laughs>